Welcome to Always Moving Forward with Renee. Hello and happy Sunday to all. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Always Moving Forward with Renee. My co-host today is Mr. Levi Johnson Jr. He is a talent artist, musician, lead singer in two bands, and he is also the maker of Mr. Levi's Mighty Fine Soul Sauce, which is sold in stores across Metro Detroit and the state of Michigan. Ecclesiastic 11th chapter, second verse. Divide your portion among seven, or even eight, for you do not know what disasters may befall the land. Amen. Levi, you are certainly a multi-talented person who believes in, with everything he's doing, he believes in multiple streams of income. Am I correct? Amen. All right Absolutely. then. There's no limits to what God can do. Amen. But you know, Proverbs 10th chapter, 4th verse. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. And that's exactly what he's doing. But tell me, Levi, what motivated you to become an entrepreneur? Well, actually, when you face with adversity, I think that tends to bring out the best in, in, in any individual. You find that there are things that are already placed within you that can prepare you from that particular state that you're in. Okay. Now... When deciding to take that role on as an entrepreneur, was there any family members that played a role in that? Oh, absolutely. We're standing on the shoulders of uh, our grandparents, our ancestors, if you will. And my grandfather in particular, Mr. Ottaway Clemens, lived in the south in Covington, Tennessee. And we were always uh, going south during the summer months. Uh, after school was out so that uh, my mother wanted me to know where she came from and right, where I was right. born but I was raised in the city so we took that trek to uh, the south and got on that Greyhound bus and rode to the south and I would be just fascinated with uh, you know country life but, and, but you know what tell me this when you was on that Greyhound bus did you all have the shoe box oh absolutely my all grandmother right. would give us that to come back okay. that's when I would experience <laughs> okay. that and it would all be right. a little greasy box with a <laughs> piece of chicken in there yeah. and uh, you know you would have a slice of uh, my grandmother's homemade cake right and uh that was just pure love. Okay, <laughs> okay, because we can't leave that box out of there, you no, know, no, when we were growing up. I okay, those boxes. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Father. Continue on. But my grandfather, uh, he was a uh, an outgoing man. He didn't meet a stranger, and he cooked his own uh, barbecue. Uh, people sought him out for his cooking skills, mm -hmm. and he would uh, have a smokehouse where he would cure his own meat. Oh, okay. You know, they virtually lived off the land. You know, you had your chickens, your cow, yeah. and, um, and when I would go down there particularly, it would be hog killing time, which was a real event. Oh. And uh, they would kill the hog and then dip him in a 55-gallon drum, pull him up and scrape the hair off the hide, and then cut him open, clean him out, and my grandfather cooked the old world way in a pit on the ground. Okay. And you dig a pit and you put uh, hickory wood or any aromatic wood, you lay three stakes across there, uh, poles, metal poles, put a grate on there, and you put the hog on there, and it took about anywhere from eight to ten hours for that hog to, to cook. cook. the hog. And cook. when you grab that bone in the, uh, the ham, you know, up in that upper upper uh, thigh area, mm -hmm. and it would, and when that pulls out, that meat's ready. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, you know, 
Those then you be, need the sauce. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to talk about that yeah. sauce. But, you know, let me just say this. When you were talking about uh, cooking that shoulder, I looked at my husband, and okay. he was smiling because he's from Memphis. Oh, boy. Okay. And what okay. he says is that we don't know how to eat. Or cook. <laughs> or cook. Because <laughs> we grill in the north. Okay. That is barbecue when you have that pit. Okay. And when you use real wood. You got to have wood in order to get that, that flavor. That there. flavor. Yeah, you okay, can't mistake that. Now, that was Covington, right? Covington, yes. Is that is. anywhere near Memphis? Not very far. I think it's, what, about 25, 30, 30 miles? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we may be related. You, you know, those know. towns down there, Never everybody know. was related. Yeah, the Clemens family is the family that uh, my mother was from. Okay. All right. Well, you know, we go to Tennessee, you know, three or four times a year. We may have to look up some of those cousins of sure. yours down there and see if they still cooking like that. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. But tell me, uh, you know, you learned uh, what well, your grandparents had something to do with structuring your life. Oh, and going in to be an entrepreneur. Absolutely. My grandfather was a businessman, and uh, I don't think he really knew it, uh, you know, because he didn't have the wherewithal to, to go the, uh, the distance and go through the procedures it took to get himself legitimately established as a businessman, but the business came to him. Okay. Nevertheless, you know. Okay. And my grandmother played a, a pivotal role in the cooking as well because when he would get, you know, to drinking some of that corn liquor yeah. and go to sleep, she would take over cooking. So yes. I have to <laughs> give her credit where her credit is. Right, due. right, you know, right. Ruth Clemens. Okay, Ruth Clemens. Yeah. And you know, I'm I'm going to remember that name because okay. I'm going to ask his uh, aunt who is almost a hundred. Okay. Uh, and still in her right mind and yeah. everything, if she, you know, remembers uh, or knows the name. But uh, do you think choosing the road of entrepreneurship, that education helped with that as well? Or Absolutely. You have to prepare yourself for any uh, endeavor that you haven't uh, embarked on before. You need to arm yourself with as much education about what you do. Okay. Um, I had no business background prior to doing this, but I uh, hooked up with a group, uh, the Rotary Club. Oh, and my okay. mentor, uh, whose name is Dr. Noel Jackson, who has a practice downriver in Trenton, mm -hmm. he uh, became my mentor and a uh, personal friend mm -hmm. as well. He uh, introduced me to the, the program called, well, I got introduced to him through a program. Mm -hmm. called Launch Detroit. Okay. It was a program that was actually set up for uh, women oh, okay. to start in business. Okay. And uh, I got an email from uh, a young lady that worked down at the Eastern Market. And, uh, Davida Davidson sent me an email saying uh, they're enrolling people in this program mm -hmm. and uh, this was the day to go down to to check it out and I went down and from there uh, I got hooked up with Dr. Noel Jackson and uh, the Rotary Club and you know they sent us to the uh, Rock and Roll Museum in Cleveland and I performed there uh, okay. and uh, it was really a treat and then I got to meet Rotarians from all over the United States and their goal is to uh, help people outside of the United States. So this Launch Detroit program was a program set up to help people locally. Okay. So that was a real godsend in uh, getting yoked up with that program. Okay, you know, you said it's a real godsend. You know, won't he do it? Absolutely. He will put people Absolutely. right there for you. And you can't plan these things. You can't, uh, you can't think these things up. They just... You just got to be obedient uh, and, and follow. Amen. You know, you have do to make what a he step. said. That's right. You have to make the proper steps. You know, nothing is falling out of the sky. That you're absolutely right. The from right. heaven is already falling. Yes. So now we have to be diligent. You are right. But you know, a quote from Henry David Thoreau. Okay. 
<laughs> and I know you're, <laughs> you are well aware of this quote. Okay. If a man does not keep pace with his companions, perhaps it's because he hears a different drum. Absolutely. We can't be afraid to be different. Right. Now that's a good one. Say it one more time. <laughs> you can't be afraid to dare to be different. You can't be afraid to be different. That's right. But let him step to the music which he hears, however measured or far away. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Or far away. But you know what I want you to do right now, Levi? Okay. I want you to look in that camera and I want you to tell them how they can get in touch with you. Your phone number, okay. email, whatever you want them to have. Gladly. Um, I am available at uh, mightyfine, M-Y-T-F-I-N-E-L-L-C.com or The Soul Sauce for The Soul Sauce. And uh, you go to either one of those websites and you can purchase sauce there. I ship sauce all over the United States and I ship the same day I receive the order. So we don't dilly-dally around on getting your product to you. I can also be reached at 313-320-3850. That's 313-320-3850. I have a website, I mean, excuse me, my email address is levi-johnson at sbcglobal.net. Okay, now you got that. He's gonna come back with that again. But you know, I want you to get paper and pencil just in case you didn't catch it because when he says it again because we want you to get some of that sauce my husband and i met levi what was it about a month and a half ago just about that almost two months ago okay almost two months ago we were over at galilea mm -hmm. and levi and his lovely wife was there and levi had his sauce and my husband loves barbecue sauce. So I had to go over and I said, okay, what do you have? What's the hottest you have? Because I had to get the hottest. I like hot, spicy things, but I'm going to tell you, my husband loved it. Okay. I mean, I did yes. too, but it was spicy. <laughs> it was spicy. But you know, the Bible says, Proverbs 4th uh, chapter, 7th verse, the beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom and whatever you get, get insight. And that's what Levi is giving us today. But Levi, Thank how you. important is it to leave a legacy? Well, as I was uh, stating with uh, learning so much from my family that was in Tennessee. See, I was born in Tennessee, but uh, my mother was the first one to migrate to the north when you had that great migration. Right. And uh, our family uh, subsequently followed her mm -hmm. after she came to Detroit. So uh, it was important for me to see the way that she lived, the way that, uh, you know, country living mm -hmm. back then was a, a, a slower pace. The people, they took time to talk to you. They spoke to each other. You know, we got people walking around now and uh, they're focused on these devices and they've forgotten how to communicate with yes. people. So the legacy uh, that I am working towards leaving for my descendants is that here's something that it was passed down to me Hopefully I'm going to take it to a level when I pass it to you, you can go to even greater heights. Amen. But I want to establish it to where it's at a level where all they have to do is walk right in, make contact with the people I've been making contact with, and build upon that. Right, We right. have to keep building uh, to have what you call meaningful wealth. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about just the paycheck, mm -hmm. you know, living from week to week. I'm talking about where you can have meaningful wealth. Right, right. Where you can actually, you know, do things mm -hmm. with the money that's earned right. besides just pay bills. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm not considering uh, even paying myself because I'm looking to build this thing to where when my daughters and anybody else in the family want to latch on, all they have to do is just take the reins and run with it. So legacy is so important because we leave debt. Yes. We don't leave something that's going to build 
uh, other than just uh, misery. We, we, you know, we worried about what's for dinner. Right, right. You know, you know and, and Levi, you certainly are leaving a legacy. But you well, know, you. what I want to do now, because as I told you, Levi does so many things. And I want you to share that with them now. Okay. So if we can take a few minutes and okay. we go over to the table here and you can tell us what you have. Sure. Okay. My pleasure. Okay, what we want to do now is share a little of Levi's legacy. So Levi, tell us about this. All right, what you're looking at here on the table is Mr. Levi's Mighty Fine Soul Sauce, which is available in mild, spicy, and habanero. They all have the same flavor signature, only varying levels of spiciness. The mild, just like the, the spicy and the habanero, has uh, only 50 milligrams of sodium per uh, two tablespoons. It's the lowest sodium barbecue sauce on the market, hands down. You will not find a lower sodium barbecue sauce. This is sweetened with cane sugar. It's made with apple cider vinegar. It's non-GMO, it's gluten-free. I'm not saying it's the best sauce for you. I'm saying it's one of the healthiest sauces for you in the, in the way of a barbecue sauce. Okay. And you can use this for basting, tasting. Uh, you can use it for grilling. You can put this on a bed of baby spinach leaves with cilantro, feta cheese, black olives, drizzle this on as a dressing. You can put it on meatloaf. You can mix it in with the meat and then top it. You could dip shrimp in it. I don't know if you drink or not, but people are pouring it in a glass with vodka as a bloody yeah. meal mix. <laughs> so uh, I don't hey. drink, but uh, <laughs> it's your, you know, whatever yeah. you like. And yeah. um, one guy puts it on ice cream, picture that. Oh, wow, my yeah. husband will have to try that. Yeah. Okay. We just don't recommend you sample it with your finger because if you bite it off, I cannot be held responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't want you to eat that finger there. Yeah, you can make spaghetti with it. You can oh, top okay. tacos with it. Um, it's really uh, a limitless barbecue sauce. There's no limits. Okay. And here's our T-shirts here. Oh, yeah. Mr. And you got Levi. my picture on it, you know, make no mistake. That's Levi. <laughs> oh, you know what? While we're talking about the sauce... How did you come up with Mighty, mighty, mighty. Fine? Well, Mighty Fine is descript descriptive as well as the name of my business. Uh, mighty Fine LLC okay. is the name of my business. But when you uh, refer to something like in, in church, you know, when somebody sings, uh, you know, somebody might will come up to you after a song that you sung, and they say, that's a mighty fine piece of singing there. Oh, you know, okay. so Mighty Fine is just... A, a great way to describe something. You okay. know, that's a mighty fine outfit you're wearing. Okay, those are mighty you. fine slippers you're wearing. Oh, you know, those, okay. those things uh, make a person feel good. So yeah. that's what we think of the sauce as being something that really tastes good and it's also good for you. Okay, well, let me tell you uh, this sauce is mighty fine. <laughs> but Levi, let's go. You're also an artist. Yes. So let's I, look at some of your artwork here. Um, yeah, I do um, all forms of art. I do uh, portraits, I can do uh, pastels, I can do pen and ink. These happen to be, um, this piece that you're looking at happens to be a upcycle uh, satellite dish. Okay. You know, this once uh, was how you receive your signal for your TV. Right, right. And these pieces on this are from uh, a thrown out circuit box that uh, was on the job. And uh, this comes from a ball bearing race. And these things have been repurposed into uh, a piece. It started out being, uh, I was thinking of like uh, the waves on uh, some of these graphic uh, equalizers. Okay. And then people started telling me it looks like a city. So, it does. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'll go with that. Okay. And uh, right, this piece, uh, this was actually uh, conceived from a garbage dumpster. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was taking out the garbage one day on the job, throwing the trash in there, and the dumpster had been painted about six different colors, mm -hmm. and this is uh, called oxidation. So what happened was the dumpster, uh, the paint started peeling, mm -hmm. and the other colors started showing through, and you could see the oxidation from uh, rust. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. So He's people have told me they see a, a river and they see a ship and, you know, it's, it's all about what your mind uh, visualizes in art. Okay. In abstract art. But, you know, before we go to the other pieces, Levi, I want you to tell them what stores, if they want to go to a store, where could they to get this in the store? Absolutely. Uh, one of the stores is in Ferndale, Western Market on Nine Mile. Oh, okay. Between... Uh, Woodward. Living noise and Woodward, yeah. Yes. Uh, you can get it at Bushes. They have the spicy version. It's in um, Good Cakes and Bakes on Living Noise. Okay. It's in Mike's Market on Living Noise in Seven Mile. Downtown at Gratiot Central Market at Ronnie's Meats. We're on Telegraph at uh, Joy View Meat Market. That's another place you can get it. In Midtown, you can get it at uh, University Foods on Warren near the Lodge Freeway. And then uh, you swing over to uh, Eight Mile at uh, Foodland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's no excuse. No excuse. He just named several locations where you can pick up your mighty fine, mighty fine. soul sauce. And also give them your telephone number again. 313-320-3850. That's 313-320-3850. Okay, give him a call. He said if you want to order some, he'll ship it out the same day. That's right. Okay, let's talk about this, Levi. Well, I'm wearing one of these. Uh, I call them Fibonacci pins. Uh, there was a, a mathematician, an Italian mathematician, that came up with the uh, formula that you see in roses yes. and cabbage leaves. Uh, in uh, nautilus seashells, uh, in the way branches grow on a tree, they don't just grow side by side, they grow opposite yeah. of each other. So there's a formula for this that I'm not a mathematician, but this guy Fibonacci came up with. So I call my pins Fibonacci pins. And ladies can wear them as well. And uh, I adorn some of them with Swarovski crystals in the center. Uh, there's a photo of uh, what they call uh, Jesus' uh, mm -hmm. image. And here's a cross in this one. Uh, there's one with the D, and that D uh, with, comes back in uh, the form of a map on this one. And then uh, I attach these uh, hearts on a chain for a little kinetic energy. And I can do them in any color. Uh, my pastor wears them all the time. And ladies can wear these as well. Uh, the larger ones, the ladies buy them. Most guys don't want to be seen as effeminate, so they like <laughs> the smaller ones. Okay. But I can do them in any color combination you like. And okay. they can be fundraisers for your church. Good, good. You heard that. They can be fundraisers for your church. Yeah, you order okay. over over uh, 10 of them, and the price drops down where uh, it increase your profit on the sales. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about this one right quick, because we okay. have a surprise here today. Okay. This is uh, Victory. If you look, you got three figures. They're standing on a serpent. Uh, the head of the serpent is a bullet that could have taken a human life. Uh, you know, people shoot up in the air right. and they think the bullets disappear. Well, they don't. <laughs> they come back down and sometimes they gotta go they start somewhere. Leaving. And uh, the hands are raised up. They're standing on the serpent, which represents evil, and they they stomp that devil. Okay. <laughs> and right. that represents victory. And these are cast off objects that uh, I use. And this is the back of an old water fountain, and I kind of brushed it to give it a, a little energy on the background. But that represents victory over sin, death, and uh, sickness. Okay. What did he say? Victory. 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 But, you know, I Amen. do have uh, a surprise for you today, uh, Mr. Levi. Okay. Stand over sure. here. Uh, and someone who's going to take us home with the show. Uh, Miss Pat, if you can come over, because I'm going to say my ending right now. <laughs> Remember, if you need prayer, give me a call at 313-657-5556, or you can email me at gwealths111 at gmail.com. And what do I always say? Remember, God loves you, and so do we. Amen. But we're going to have Miss Levi Johnson, better Pat. known as Pat. <laughs> She's going to take us home. She is a wife, well, you gathered that from what I said, <laughs> of Levi. 
<laughs> but Indeed. Pat is also a singer and she is a musician oh, yes. for some churches here in the city. So she has a jingle that she wants to share with us. Go ahead, right. Miss Pat. Well, say, say hello. and Hello, everybody. And, and since we're calling out of churches, hello to my pastor, Dee Dee Coleman, at the Russell Street Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. And my other pastor, Robert Smith, at the New Bethel Baptist Church. Our jingle simply says, Mr. Levi's mighty fine soul sauce, that soul sauce, that soul sauce, get yours today. Shall we do it again? Yes, do it. Do it again. Mr. Levi's mighty fine soul sauce, that soul sauce, that soul sauce, get yours today. All right, all right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you want to hit? We're gonna grab, grab a sauce. sauce. Yeah, grab it. Oh, okay. Here we're gonna grab, grab a sauce. <laughs> I got one. Okay, what you got? I got this. Mom, okay. Yeah. Okay. I got okay. Spice. Here we go. Mr. Levi's mighty fine soul sauce. That soul sauce. That soul sauce. Get yours today. <laughs> okay. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. That so was great. we're going to see you next week. But let me tell you, we have so much more we need to talk about. So Mr. Levi is coming back. Is that all, all right? right? That's fine with me. Great. Okay. Thank you, Renee. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. One more time. So Mr. Levi's mighty fine soul sauce. That soul sauce, that soul sauce. Get yours today. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm messing you up. <laughs> That's all right. You're working on okay. it. You're working on it. Yeah. It's a work in progress. Okay. <laughs>